Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red. I'm Jennifer, and since we're still doing our stay at home and social distancing, we thought it would be really neat to re-release the very first video that Steve and Sheila put together for this cooking channel. It's great for the kids from one to 92. We do have some new shows coming, but we thought this would be a neat little treat for all of you staying at home wanting something sweet to eat. So check it out. Hi friends, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook, Steve Hall, back aboard the beautiful Miss Sheila houseboat where we're cruising and cooking again today with the beautiful Miss Sheila. Welcome aboard. Thanks. She's my first mate, of course. And today we're going to make biscuits and... Chocolate gravy. No way. Can you believe that? Chocolate gravy. I had never even heard of chocolate gravy and biscuits till I came down south. You know, it was always sausage gravy and biscuits. But we're going to make chocolate gravy and biscuits today. And I'll tell you, it is absolutely... Delicious. Now, what do we put in first? First, we need to mix our dry ingredients. Right. Okay, what do okay, we start with? We'll take the flour. Okay, how much flour do we got here now? A uh, cup. One cup of flour, okay. And then sugar. And then sugar. How much sugar? Uh, well, we had an argument about this one time. Well, you said two cups, and I said I like a little more in it when you made it for me. So about two and a quarter cups of sugar. There you go. Then you stir that up good. Okay, get that happening. Because you don't want it clumping up on you. Now, do you use self-rising flour or regular flour? Self-rising. Any particular brand? Um, white Lily, mostly. White Lily, I knew you I were like going to say that. Lily. I just wanted to get her to say that on the I air. was always, I've always been raised on White Lily. Yeah, she tells me every time they go to the store, get White Lily. That's why I was wanting her to say it. How much cocoa we got here now? About two good tablespoons full. About, about two rounded tablespoons. Now this is cocoa that you cook with, like you're cooking the unsweetened cocoa, because we're going to put a lot of sugar in here, and it's already in there. So you, you use your, your unsweet regular cocoa. You ready for that? Ready. Okay. We got that in there. Even when I was a little kid, I was raised on this. My dad used to make this all the time, and then mother did. Ever who was in the kitchen, and we had to have chocolate gravy. Chocolate gravy and biscuits. Yeah. If, you've ever, if you've ever talked to anybody at all, and you ask them if they've ever had chocolate gravy, you will think they are your lost relative because they they know what you're talking about. They kind of compare it. Oh, yeah. you had it too? One of those kind of kids? Mm -hmm. All right. Then you got something in common. This is looking good. She's got that mixed up. We got our flour and our sugar and our cocoa mix in there. Got it pretty good. We whipped up our dry ingredients. Okay. When do you put in the milk and the water? You put in the milk. Okay. One cup of milk we're going to use here. Stir that in first. Till you get it real creamy. Now, about what time do you put this on the stove? At this point here or when you start putting the water After in? you get the water. After you get the water in, you then you move it to the stove. So all your dry ingredients you mix off the stove without the burner on, right? Without the burner on. Then put in the milk, then put in the water. Now we got four cups of water here, and we've had some debate about this water issue, about whether you cook four cups longer or three cups for the shorter period of time, because I want it to get done quicker, so I always say, why do you cook, cook it so long? Because you like it so well. I like it so well, and you ready for the water? Yeah. Okay, we got four cups of water here. Let's just put that in there real gentle while she's stirring it. Oh, that should be plenty. Okay. Right now. Okay. You can mix this all while you're on the stove, but turn it on after you get it all um, All mixed prepared. up. Yeah. yeah, don't turn the burner on. You can set it on the stove and mix it up. Just don't turn the burner on right. until it's ready to lock and load there. Okay. okay. Any more water? Yeah, you ask a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Now that's about three cups. That leaves a cup in the beaker here. You think three cups is enough? Or I think you... that'd be enough. Okay. So about three and a half cups of water, that makes us both happy. Because you can't wait till this gets done after all. Now here's the magic thing that happens. You'll stir this on the stove. You've got to constantly stir it under medium-high heat. And one minute it's kind of watery like this. You'll think it's never going to thicken. Then all of a sudden it just starts getting thick. And when it first starts getting thick, that's when you take it off the stove? Right. It's not, you don't want to get it clear to pudding consistency, right? No, it'll get uh, thick enough as it cools off. Oh, get, so it gets thicker as it cools. So when it first starts to get nice and creamy, I think you said, creamy thick, turn your burner off. Now, that's our demonstration. We've got some done over here. Let's replace what we're stirring here with the real deal. Ta-da! Chocolate gravy for your biscuits. Now I'm going to need a plate. You're going to need a plate. 
we got some biscuits here. Now these ain't those big old cat head biscuits like they whip up and down out. These are them wampin kind, you know. That's what my dad used to make his cat head biscuits. Oh man, big old cat heads. He used to make a whole bunch of them for the church. And what you want to do is peel these biscuits open. I'll give you a couple biscuits to work on over there. We'll put some butter on these. We call this Bob Holland's um, chocolate gravy. Bob Holland's chocolate gravy. We can certainly call it that because that recipe is handed down to little Miss Sheila. And but the way the kids do it, and if you're really hungry, if you're really serious, then you just do this right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if you're going to act like a kid, you tear it up in you little teeny weeny chunks? That's how we did when we were a kid. We just tore it all to pieces. Now, do you want butter on your little teeny, teeny, teeny weeny chunks, or do you want just gravy? Um, put the butter over here. <laughs> okay. That works. Put some butter in there. All right. Get that mixed in, happening with yeah. some of those. Every which one wants to go first, chocolate or butter. There you go. Now, we're ready. Yeah. I'll let you have the honors. Okay. Me first, me first. Supposed to be ladies first, but I'm sorry, me first. When it comes to chocolate, it's chocolate to be kids gravy. And women. It's big kids first here. Two more little scoops, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm trying. You got. You got to try this recipe. I'm telling you, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you. And then the kids, we do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works out really good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, big kid. And big kid. Now you do it like now this. Now give this a try. Then you just stir it up like this and knead it. You do that, I'll knead. Okay. Oh, man. See how good it is? Mm. As soon as I swallow this, one other thing that Bob Holland, her father, used to do is he would put a big dollop, when it got right warm and creamy in the pan, he'd put a big dollop of peanut butter in there. To change Then it the kids would really flip out because it was like having Reese's peanut butter cups <sighs> on biscuits. So... It just gets better and better. Mm. Try this in your next hunting camp. Biscuits and chocolate gravy. It's a southern treat. Well, again, people in the north haven't really heard of this a lot. I brag on the people in the north that make pickled fish because people in the south haven't heard of it. So I got to brag on the people in the south that make their chocolate gravy and biscuits. And it's absolutely fantastic. Miss Sheila, thank you very much again. You're welcome. And try this at your next hunting camp. It's going to be a big hit. Whip up some of them wampum type biscuits and some of that homemade chocolate gravy. And is it the best chocolate gravy you ever ate in your life? Yeah. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. If it ain't, it, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching Cooking with Shotgun Red. If you enjoy our recipes, become a subscriber to our cooking channel. And you'll be the first to know when a new recipe is posted. We'll see you next time, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. This is Shotgun Red saying thanks a lot. Whew.